film two other videos and I suddenly had a very important thought process and just came to realize some things and I've been meaning to film this video for such a long amount of time and it's for all of you but also for myself which is something I haven't been doing recently. This video is long overdue on my end. Before I start ranting, I just wanna say, let me just preface the video and get the self-promo stuff out of the way. Well, first off, I have to say, watch Stranger Things. <laughs> I'm going to be shouting out a ton of people that follow me on Instagram, and all you have to do to be entered is follow at Jessie Page and at Jessie Trash. Here you go, here are some people that follow my page and my trash. And also, I am going to be giving away my book to a ton of people that follow on Instagram. If you really appreciate sit down videos like this, if we could get this to 30,000 likes, just if you will support me no matter what, just to show me that, let's get started. So, my channel is all about positivity, positive views on mental health, bringing exposure to important topics, and good memes. <laughs> It's all about that and I love my channel and this community so much and for the past like three weeks I've been honest to not just you guys but to myself. I have come so far. When I first moved to Los Angeles, I had no friends here. I didn't feel comfortable with anybody. I was suffering so much and I thought that was okay. My school and my YouTube, my social media, those were the only two things that I focused on. So I have not been honest to myself and to you guys. I have been needing a break for a really, really, really long time, for maybe like two years. I kind of have two qualities that mixed together literally are the worst. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, overthink everything, I'm just incredibly hard myself, and I'm also kind of like a workaholic, so the two mixed together, ooh, yeah. <laughs> not good and I finally was really like starting to get a balance the past like few months I've had more balance in my life than I feel like I've like ever had besides when I was five like I had a great balance you know I, I took a nap and then I played some Club Penguin dated on Club Penguin I was quite the heartbreaker oof <laughs> I've actually had the idea to do this for a long time because I've known of how to do it, but I haven't like admitted it to myself. I've been like, no, like I'm, I'm doing too well and I'm too happy right now. And the thing is, one super important thing that I need to remind myself sometimes is even if your mental health is good in the moment, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't take care of it. You know what I mean? Like I'll be thriving and happy. Yeah, I don't need to take time for myself. Like I'm, I'm happy. I let it build up and then I don't take care of myself until things start falling apart. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can probably relate to that. And one of the things that I've probably had like the most issues with is I guess social media, my job. I went on a really long rant on Twitter. I said, I really need a break of social media. Jeez, I did a typo. Oof. I really need a break from social media recently. It's been a huge trigger for my anxiety and it's been unhealthy. I've isolated myself from living life a lot the past few weeks because of social media as well. Please respect this for me. I've been putting my social media platforms and content over my happiness and I've been hurting. I finally admitted to myself that I can't live like this and need to take a break. Next tweet. <laughs> anxiety is an internal battle and you can't heal if you can't even admit to yourself that you're wounded. After my breakup and many other struggles, I thought that the smartest thing would be to focus on my career, but I've sacrificed my free time and free will in the process and need to heal again. Damn, I went off on Twitter. I genuinely care so much, not just about my channel, but my community. The past like five months, I've just been uploading content purely for, this is what I like and this is what I think you will like. And if YouTube isn't gonna support my content, screw it, we have each other. I care about my people. And at the end of the day, that's what I have. If YouTube falls apart, I have faith that you guys will be here with me. I know it. Because of that, I feel this constant need, I guess to give back, but I give so much of myself in various ways, physically and just like mentally, to not only just my audience, but my social media platforms that it deteriorates from my life and from my own happiness. And the past three weeks, I've been really letting that happen because I went through a really bad week, multiple, multiple things. Like it wasn't just a few things. It was YouTube decided that I was no longer able to upload content, which is incredibly scary and I wasn't getting any response. And that's frightening because I don't know if that's ever going to get fixed. And I've said this multiple times, but the trigger for my anxiety is not having control over situations. And that is like not having control over your career. I've worked so hard to build up this platform and that's like 
not being able to communicate to you guys. It's like a wall between us and that's really scary. And then in my personal relationship, that relationship, that whole week, it wasn't healthy, that I wasn't being treated right. And I don't know, after that, I just decided like, I'm going to focus on my career. And I was like, that's all I have left which isn't true at all. I have my people and you guys are a separate entity from even just like my videos. And I think I need to realize that sometimes, like I can make you guys happy just by making myself happy. Like it doesn't always have to be constantly putting out content and like going crazy, you know what I mean? So there's that aspect. And it wasn't even just like my career and like creatively challenging myself. It was like really badly. Like if, if a video didn't do well, I was like, like I'm letting them down. I don't know, like it was, that's so unhealthy. Like, I don't deserve that. I don't deserve to talk to myself like that. I make sure I meet everyone I meet and greet, try to make them all feel special. It's like, why can't I take time to make myself feel special? You know what I mean? And I was so good at that the past three, four months. I had really good balance in my life. And I just like always felt this, this pressure, like this need that I have to constantly be giving to you all and constantly be responding 24 seven. And when you look at comments so much, you become very self-aware because you do see the mean comments and they hurt. Like I'm a pretty strong person. Like I don't let them like totally affect me. But when you don't give yourself free time and you're also not taking care of yourself, that's when it does also affect you. Like I find when I, when I have more balance in my life and I start just like hanging out with people and just taking more time like for myself to just like build good relationships and so on, I just like am a better and stronger person. And when I don't treat myself right, mentally I'm weaker. It makes sense. <laughs> so I've been meaning to take a very long break for a really long time. There's so many things I haven't like treated myself to. I've never just gone on vacation just for myself and that's so harsh. It's really bad. When I am in a bad place, I tend to like, like to just isolate myself from other people, which is really bad. I love being alone. Like I am such an introvert, but when it comes to having to feel better, I rarely feel better when it's just me by myself. It typically takes me having to hang out with people to feel better and I haven't been giving myself that. What I think this social media break means, I don't think it will mean that I'm going to not post. I think that I'm just gonna post and then not go on social media after, like not scroll through, not feel like I need to at least, like take away that necessity. Like Jesse, you don't need to read through every comment. You can't, it's for yourself. And it's not that you don't care about your people. It's not, I'm doing that because I care about all of you and I want to be able to keep making content and I don't want to just have a total burnout. You know what I mean? I might upload only once a week, possibly the next few weeks. I love posting and posting a lot, but I haven't been living and I need to live too. When you love your job so much, it shouldn't feel like work, but when I'm doing it, 24 seven to the point where I do get tired mentally and physically, that's when it does feel like work. And I don't want this to feel like work. This is ours, this is so special to us. I think one of the biggest things that made me realize that I really needed a break was that when I like lived really cool moments in my life, my first thought was that I had to document it, which I will try to do as much as I possibly can for all my people. Cause you guys literally like do mean so much to me, so much, but I also think I need to experience some things for myself. And I think that's okay. Like Jesse, it's okay to feel like you don't need to capture things. Like I would go to Disney, stuff like that. So yeah, as for like the timeline of this break, I think for the next three days. So I'm gonna gradually start to get into it because it's almost like an addiction where you have to slowly get used to it and break your your weird habits. I think another big thing is I'm a very, very, very empathetic person. Like I literally see other people and I just like see little struggles and I like feel their pain. I don't know, it's really weird. I'm a really soft human. I'm a Hufflepuff. I care a lot about other humans. And sometimes it's to the point where it hurts myself where it's like, no, like you can't put everyone else's problems in yourself, their problems become my problems and then it just doesn't end up helping anyone. I think one of my major requests for the future would be that if you are going through something personally, use my content. My content is general. My content is for all of you because you're a community, an amazing group of people. So use my videos for advice, for general things to help you out. There are resources for you. For you, like I, I literally, care so much about you all that like it hurts me and I don't know it just doesn't end up helping either of us and I want to help you three four days after I post this I'm just gonna start posting content and just going off my phone after just 
relax and I ask you all to please be just patient. <laughs> Is this okay? I tweeted and you guys were all so kind. Like I've been diagnosed with anxiety, panic disorder in particular, and I've gotten a really good grip over it. But I have found that like social media has become like a new trigger. And the issue with some triggers, it's like you can't escape it. Like I wanna keep posting for you all, but I think I just need to like find a way to make this thing in my life a bit more mentally easy on me, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of my tweets are very educational and I think something you might not realize but people that are close to me know this. A lot of my tweets are actually directed at myself. I don't follow my own advice a lot. <laughs> I give really good advice but I tend to think that I don't deserve it. Why do I not deserve the same care? I'm like, no, it's because I, I feel like, like I'm in debt, like I need to constantly be giving and it's like, no, like you can't always give. You need to receive things for yourself too. So yeah, the next few days I'm just gonna start posting and just not caring as much. And then another big like random issue, but I'm not saying this to self-promote, but if you could turn on my notifications, that would be really cool because YouTube with my channel has not been uploading my videos until 15 minutes after I press upload, which is really stressful because I never know when to promote my videos. Like I don't promote them anymore, but the notifications have been sending out. People have been telling me, so if you wanna up with me. Yeah, I think this video is putting out nothing but the best message for all my people and that's why I want to put this video up because this video just really goes over, this is something really important, but it goes over what to do when you realize there is a problem in your life and like how to take a mature approach. And maybe a lot of you will be able to relate. I want my videos to be relatable, but not in the like, haha, <laughs> pizza. I mean like I can't even supply that type of haha, <laughs> pizza relatable content because I'm vegan. We stand, ow. <laughs> I love how that's our new inside joke. I stand, ow. <laughs> don't be alarmed if I post a YouTube video and I totally don't promote it after. It's probably because I'm trying to just breathe and just accept that I tried my hardest to put out the best content for my subscribers. Genuinely, I make none of my money from the amount of views I get. Like the amount of views is so irrelevant, but it's just the fact of like, I don't know, like I'm disappointing them. Like that hurts me more. Today was a realization and I want all of you to take care of yourselves in some sort of way. Please, I care about you all. Stay hydrated, listen to a good song, call your parents, tell them you love them. I mean, I've been told I'm a daddy, so if you want to call me, uh, what? <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked this. And I just want you to remember that I love you all and I stand this fandom. Ow. <laughs> it really hurt, okay. I love you all, I'm gonna feature your posts and your pages. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the future. Whee!